Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Katya. How are you doing today? Good morning, teacher. Always with the coat. Oh, yeah. I told you. Yeah, I remember on the chat, right? Yes. And how are you? How are you? Are you feeling any better at all? Mm, not yet. But oh, yeah. I will, I going to go to the um, clinic. Uh, clinic. Yep, clinic. Um, for a reference with the special pneumologist. Yeah, because to the pneumologist. It's important, time. right? Yes. Super important. Yeah. And well, I hope that the pneumologists, they will give you some therapies and things that to make you feel better quicker. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, I hope that you feel better. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you doing today? Pretty good, thanks. Nice. How are you? Yeah. I'm doing good. I just came back from the gym, so I'm doing good today. Lots of energy. All right. We are going to give everyone a couple minutes to join. Today, as promised, we are going to have some activities. So we will finish on the reading that we left off yesterday, and then we'll continue with our activities. Are you able to hear me well? Am I getting stuck today? Can you see my video? Am I getting stuck at all? Can you hear me well? Can you see the video? Is it blurry? Is it working? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. All right, cool. If at any point it gets stuck or you can't hear me or I'm getting choppy. All right, no, thank you so much. It's okay. Perfect. If something happens, just let me know and I'll fix it like yesterday. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. I'll give everyone a couple minutes more to join. I think that people are joining right now. I see a couple of folks joining. So we are 10 people already. So maybe I'll just give them like another two minutes before I start and continue with the activity. Hello, everyone that just joined. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Francisco. How did it go with the doctor? Very well. Very good, sorry. Um, yes, uh, the, my doctor prescribed me antibiotics. <laughs> oh, so he did <laughs> give Yes, it. it's sure. Sure, but um, I trust the medicine. Uh, it helped me the repair my health. Yeah, definitely. It has to work, right? Antibiotics usually work really fast. Yes, but uh, yesterday I say that uh, I scares a little bit because uh, many antibiotics resist the illness. Yep, the that's true. And other microorganisms. And I don't know, this is it's dangerous, I suppose. It is dangerous. You're right. But hopefully it will be good for you, right? That it will, it will, well, help you get better, help you heal. And hopefully this one's not, not resistant and this one can help you. <laughs> yeah. But I'm glad to hear that it went well with the doctor. My, my doctor uh, prescribed me so uh, uh, I don't remember how do you say harabe syrup um, syrup yes mm -hmm. four bottles 
of syrup. What? It's incredible. It's, it's incredible. Four, four bottles? bottles? Yes, four and, bottles. And you're supposed to take those four bottles in how long? Or how and often? 15 milli, milliliters? Yes. <laughs> 15 milliliters. Uh, one uh, spoon. Yep. So, yes, one spoon. Uh, every six hours. Every six hours. That's very yes. close to each other. Yeah. Wow. Well, man. Well, you know, cough syrup also. I hope that it has some like and um what's the what, what what's it called? What's it called? Like oh my god, I don't remember. No me acuerdo ni siquiera cómo se dice en español. Is that a, a, it's a type of syrup? Yeah, that it relieves your symptoms. Ambroxol, Ambroxol, or is that the most famous? Yeah, no, I was antihistamine. That that that's antihistamine. it. Antihistamine. Yeah. Antihistamine. So that I hope mm. that it's a, like it helps you with your symptoms, right? So it's not only for your cough, but it also helps you feel better in general. Chlorpheniramine, maybe. Yeah. Um. I'm not sure. No, I mean, I'm just saying that I hope that it's like anti, like an antihistaminic. Antihistaminic. Um, yeah. So mm -hmm. that you feel better soon, even if, I, I, I mean, at least as long as you're taking the antibiotics so you don't feel as heavy. But uh, unbelievable, the different medicine is not available in different pharmacies. Oh, yeah. For example, claritin is not available in, in, many, in many pharmacies. Everyone's trying to get it yeah everyone's trying to get it yep and they're gonna get more expensive with time more, more expensive yeah yeah yes all righty well hopefully you'll tell us next week how you're feeling after a few days of the medication yes hopefully it's a, it big, goes business. Well. It's a big business it is really yep that's where the money is right now mm -hmm. yep yeah. big deal Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Alrighty. Hello, everyone that just joined. Good evening. How is everyone doing? Good evening. Very good. Nice. I'm glad to <laughs> yes. hear that. Yes. I'm happy to hear that. Alrighty. So, as promised, today mm -hmm. we have some activities, some Quizlet activities that we are going to be reviewing. So, um, before we go into those activities, can you see my screen? Yeah, right? Yes. Nice. Sure. Nice. All right. So, before we go into those activities, we are going to finish the reading that we started yesterday. Um, yes. And also, we'll complete the exercises. It's just five exercises. So, this shouldn't take a lot of time. Um, and then we will go into the exercises or the activities, right? So I have two quizlets. I have one for phrasal verbs so that we can review that because I know some people had like this thing for the phrasal verbs, um, your enemy or something. Um, and then I just have some regular vocabulary, right? Some words that maybe... Uh, sometimes you want to use, you know how to explain it, but you don't know yeah. what word to use, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So that's what we're going to be reviewing. And um, maybe if there is someone here that wasn't here yesterday, um, we were talking about this really cool website that's called Questlet. You have this flashcard words. Um, we're going to use the flashcards. We have many the other. The teacher lost Wi-Fi again. Yes, again. Yeah, I cannot listen, teacher. See. Hi. Can you listen to me? Yes, yes. Well, oh, yes. All right. I'm just going to keep my camera off because I think that that's just that's what happens. Oh, oh maybe it's not that camera. Am Hello, I still teacher? sounding choppy? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, hello. But that's uh, yes. lost some time. All right. 
Let me move over to a different place so that I can get a better connection. One second. Okay. Or maybe Francisco infect the computer, Alejandra's computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With COVID? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> if for that reason the computer is <laughs> it's lost the connection <laughs> usually the in, in the important times in the class mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. and um, the wi-fi loss generally yes but this is uh, the wi-fi oh the connection <laughs> yes yeah the yep. answer of the exam is the lost connection. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen next week when we're doing the final test. <laughs> no, no. I hope no. You are jinxing yourself. <laughs> you know what jinxing is? No, but how do you know? It's kind of like when you say, te estás salando. <laughs> jinxing yourself, no. guys. <laughs> All right, no. so I am moving places right now. I am moving my computer okay. and I'm moving my little glass of orange juice. So wow, a beautiful garden, wow. You can't see anything. <laughs> oh my God, I, I literally, <laughs> oh my God. I stopped, I stopped. I do have a nice garden though. I do have a nice garden. I take pride in that. Okay. I take care of my garden. I have some roses and I have some plants that I know I don't know the names of. And um, I have a big mess because of my dogs, but we're not going to talk about it. Uh, okay. okay. All righty. Okay. Now I am in a different place. Can you hear me better now at all? Yes. Yes, I know. Yes. Okay. Yes. I can hear. Yes, it's better. Did you? Nice. All right. So I just had to do the walk of shame. Okay. All righty, we are back. So um, I was sharing with everyone that in case you were not here yesterday, um, we are going to be working on this really cool website that's called Quizlet. We have a vocabulary, which we review with flashcards. Um, there are different types of, of learning experiences with this website. You can do tests or you can do the spelling um, of the words. But today we're going to be working with the flashcards because I think it's great. So that way we can get um, what you think the definition of the word is. And mm -hmm. then we can go into the actual definition or maybe another way to describe it, right? Okay. And we'll do that for general vocabulary and for phrasal verbs after we go over our reading, we finish the reading and do the exercise. How does that sound? Sound cool? Sound good? Yes. Awesome. Alrighty. So, and with that, with this exercise, we are really finishing section four. So you already know the drill. We should be finished with section four today um, or tomorrow. I believe we got a message over to WhatsApp. So um, it's best if you finish it today. You know, it'll be great if you have that off your mind and off your table um and then next week we finish section five and you're done for this module which is great one step closer okay all right so yesterday we were doing our reading on improve your memory improve your life and we stopped right here in this section Right here in this section. So right now we will continue with um, the paragraph number four, giving everyone a brief summary. This reading is about techniques on what you should and shouldn't do to improve your memory. So we left off right here where it said that making uh, negative jokes will affect your memory and yourself in a negative way. And we'll continue with this paragraph. 
until memory. Who wants to read this paragraph? Okay. Me? Go ahead. <laughs> okay. To improve your memory, you need to take an active role. Like your body, your memory can be strengthened through exercise. Look for opportunities to exercise your memory. You know what? I think Leymar read this section, right? Because we rehearsed strengthened. Strengthened. Yesterday. And that's, you... what, that's why you know how to pronounce Yesterday. it. Yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> strengthened. Nice. Remember? <laughs> yep. I just remembered. <laughs> All right. But we practiced it, which is good. That word is a difficult word. Yeah. All right. Who wants to continue with the rest of the paragraph? Me. I, <laughs> I have Aime and then uh, Roxana can have the next one. Okay. For exercise, you're, oh, for example, if you're learning a language, try to actively remember irregular verbs. Nice. Thank you so much, Aime. Alrighty, so the only call out, remember yesterday, I was highlighting the words that we were going to rehearse in pronunciation. So today's word is actively. Act the force is at the beginning. Okay. Actively. actively. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Well, Try to actively remember irregular verbs. Perfect. Now, Roxana, can you help us with this section right here? Okay, teach. You may also want, okay. You may also want to make associations or links between what you're trying to remember and think you already know. Perfect. Thank you so much, Roxana. That's a great tip. And yeah, finally, sure. that was a super great pronunciation, by the way. So no call out Thanks. there. Who wants to finish the reading? Me. Go ahead. For example, if you need to catch a plane at 2 p.m., you can imagine a plane in your mind and notice that it has two wings, two wings, two. Uh, you are now 10 minutes more likely to remember the take of time. Excellent. You are now two, uh, 10 times more likely to remember the take of time. Thank you so much. All righty. We have completed this reading on improving our memory. Hey. Brief parenthesis, un parenthesis rápido. Have I ever, have you ever seen my other dog, the little one? No. You want to see him? Oh, no. yeah. This is him. Oh, but, oh, but it's the other one. one. Yeah, this is the small one. <laughs> uh -huh. Hi, hey. hi. So this is very, a very small dog. That's, that was my parenthesis. He wants to teach too. All right. Okay. That was all. I'm going to turn off my camera. What's his name? <laughs> so his name, long story, long story. Don't long story. ask. Um, <laughs> but his name is Frijolito. Frijolito, little bean. Little bean, exactly. Yeah, that's what my friends call him. Little okay. bean. Yep. He has many names though, because when he was brought here since my other dog is so big he had to like grow an attitude right like to face uh, him and mm -hmm. the first uh, he's tiny right now but when he was born he was you, he was like a mouse in, in size right mm -hmm. so um he would he would bark at my bigger dog and he would like try to fight the big dog mm -hmm. And so he got many nicknames in the in the making, right? Mm -hmm. So some people call him Rocky, some people call him Loreto, just you know, uh -huh. big names. All right, that was my parenthesis. Going back to the reading, we remember um, 
doing this uh, previous section where we talked about um, that you've had experiences where you have um, forgotten important information, right? That you don't know that you can improve your memory. And that then they uh, started telling us about ways that we could improve our memory, relaxing, taking deep breaths. We can avoid being negative. You will want to be present, take an active role like we just read. In this way, your memory can be strengthened through exercise, right? So taking all of those tips into account and all of that information, we will try to complete this exercise. So what do we have to do? We have to read the sentences incomplete with the number that relates to each paragraph. So we have paragraph number one right here. Let me, we have paragraph number one, paragraph number two, number three, number four, and number five, five paragraphs and five exercises. So we need to relate the sentence to the correct paragraph. So who wants to help me read number one? Number three, three. Mm -hmm. All right, but who, who who wants to read like the the statement or the sentence first? Can I? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. 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 Your mind believes what you tell it, so be ha be positive about your memory. Thank you so much, Roxana. So you guys think it's number three? Yes, number three. Yes, awesome. number three. All right, let's do number three then. Who wants to read? Number two. Me. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you train your memory actively, you're, you will be more likely to remember things. Thank you so much. ¿Cómo dijimos que se pronunciaba esta palabra? Actively. Actively, that's right. Okay. Thank you. And what does everyone think this number is? This which paragraph? Number, number four. four. Number four, yes. All righty. Here we go. Who wants to help me read number three? Also, we are forgetting. There are ways to improve our memory. All right. And which number do you think that is? Number one. Number one. Yes. Number one, the introduction, right? Talking about what we can do. Who wants to read number four? Learning to mentally connect pieces of information can help you remember. What paragraph would that be? Number five. five, number five, learning to make associations, right? Or links. And finally, let's read number five. You already know which number it is, but let's read it. We forget things more easily when we're worried about remembering them. Number two. Number two, all right. Number two. The number we have left. All righty. So, We've completed our exercises and let's go ahead and review it. We are right. That is right. All righty. Does anyone have any questions of vocabulary or about the exercise on this, uh, on this section? Mm. No. No, teacher. All righty. All vocabulary is clear. You don't have any questions about the meaning of anything. All good? Let's see the chat. I see a person. Oh, okay. Just the answers to the exercise. Cool. All righty. Okay. So in that case, just reminding everyone that this was the last exercise of section four. So we have completed all of the section four exercises and topics. So you should be uh, right if you haven't, if you already did, that's awesome, that's great, that's wonderful. 
Um, but if you haven't completed section four, we have officially completed it. So you are more than ready to go ahead and complete your platform so that you can um, continue with section five next week. If you need to go back and rewatch any class, remember that is always uploaded on YouTube. So um, does everyone have access to the playlist where we upload our classes? Yes. Alrighty, perfect. If someone needs it or doesn't have it, let me know and I'll send that again. All right, so as you can see with that, we will close our week number four and the topics will continue on week number three, I'm sorry. And the topics will continue on week number four, which will be our last week. And today we will take the rest of the hour that we have today to review some vocabulary. So I have flashcards here, but we could also do the learn um, system if you think this is better um, or we could do, yeah. Which one do you like the most? Do you like the flashcards so we can review the, the, the information or do you like this one, multiple option? Uh... Multiple options. Multiple options. Okay. 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 Oh. All righty. <laughs> Let me see if I, I'm sharing my audio. I think I'm not. I want to show you that we can run into listen to the term as well. Okay. So right now we are in the class, right? So I'm I'm gonna say it run into. But if you use Quizlet on your own, um you can download the app or you can use it on the web. You can also listen to the pronunciation. Thank you. So that way you know how it's pronounced. All right. So run into. What do you think the definition for run into matches the most? Number one, number two, number three, or number four? Ooh. Oh, I, I remember number three. Three. Run into. Mm -hmm. Number three. Number one. One for me is one. All right. Let Number me... three. I'm going to keep score. Okay. So three, three, have one, one, and then three, the last one. How many more votes do we have? <laughs> three. Three. Okay. All right. So we have four votes for number three, two votes for number one. Let's review. Where is your boat, teacher? I can't say. That's not valid. <laughs> Don't be like that. All right. Let's see. That's right. So uh, when we select that one, it goes away. So let me see if we can go back. I'm not sure. I think we can't go back. Yeah, no, we can't go back. But yes, run into. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué dijimos que era? Encontrarse con... That's right. Does anyone know how you would use that in a sentence? Uh, I, I, I remember that one exercise about that run into and, and I asked you, but I don't remember what the, in what time was. All right, no worries. So mm -hmm. an example of where you can use run into would be, mm -hmm. I usually mm -hmm. run into my neighbor mm. when taking out the trash. Okay, okay. Right? Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Let's see. All right, so for this next one, who wants to, um, let's see, we want, I want, I also want to hear your pronunciation on this. So um, everyone can say it, it doesn't, we can all repeat it. How do you pronounce this phrasal verb? Mm -hmm. All right. So don't be afraid to pronounce the CH. Don't be afraid. This is catch up. Catch. This is a CH sound, right? Okay. It's not sh, it's not cash, it's catch. Mm, okay, catch. Don't be afraid to say it. 
All right. And what do you think that is? What do you think catching up is? Number two. Yes. Number three. Three, number, number two. two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. That's right. Catching up with ponerse al día. Right? Uh, catch up. So I need to catch up with my homework. Right? Oh. <laughs> need to catch up with my homework. You need to catch up with the platform. <laughs> Good, right. good example. Yep, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that is right. Ponerse al día. Okay. Next one. How do you say this? Everyone. Take Everyone. Take. Take. Take number one. Number one. Number one. Take number off. one. Take off. Number one. Perfect. All right. So take off. Let's see. That's right. So take off, taking off your clothes, right? Taking off your shoes, take off your coat, right? Perfect. Next one, how do you say that? And which one do you think that is? Turn up. Turn up. Number one. Number one, okay. Mm -hmm. Turn up, number one. Turn up the music, turn up the TV, right? Mm -hmm. Next one, similar. How do you say it? Which yeah. one do you think it is? Turn down. Two. Yes, turn down. Two. Number two. Turn down. Number two. Turn down the TV. Nice. Next one. Get away. Get away. Get away. Um, one. Oh, number away. one. Get away. Number, number one. one. Number one. Two. Yep. That's right. Remember, get away with it. So, yep, get away. Uh, let's see. I'm getting an S, a question on the chat. Hello, what's the name of the app? And is similar to Duolingo? No, this is not similar to Duolingo. Because um, this doesn't keep any score. Um, it's just to practice vocabulary. So you can, the name of this app is Quizlet. Let me send the link again. Quizlet. This is the link. And then you can search, let's see here. You can search for any type of vocabulary that you want and you will find it, right? Okay. Todos los días me agarran. La jefa a veces como con pena me dice, se me acerca, se me va. No sé qué. Let's not sure that. It's necessary. information. A new profile. I'm sorry? It's necessary looking in with a new profile. No, not at all. Um, right uh -huh. here, I was I just entered the website and I just searched for what I wanted, the type of vocabulary that I wanted. Um, and it should let you use all of the all of the um, learning systems. If mm -hmm. you want to log in, you if you want to sign up, I'm sorry, you can. And there's also a mobile app, so you can have it on your phone. I don't know if you need to sign in if you want to use the mobile app because I've never mm -hmm. used it. So okay. I wouldn't know. But okay. for the web version, you. you don't need to. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank so, you. No worries. So get away, escaping. Number Not one. Yeah. Yep. Next one. Get over. Get over. Number three. Number three. three. Number three. Number three. Yes. Get over your relationship. Mm -hmm. Get over that. Don't think about it. Next one, you see, and here we have a summary. Every other question or every other set of questions, we have studied seven terms and then we will get 12 different ones. If you fail a term, like if you make a mistake, mm -hmm. it will appear again so you can study it again. If you got all of them right, you will get new terms. So it's ah, cool. okay. Mm -hmm. yep. And here we get a summary of all of them. Anyone have any questions with the terms we've seen so far? Mm -hmm. No, right now. 
Alrighty. So we continue. Okay. Next one. You already know the drill. Let's uh, pronounce it. And then which number do you think it is? Number three. Don't give up. No, number, number three. three. Don't give up. Right. That's better. Don't give up. Yeah. Don't. That's right. Did you listen to the song? What, what song? You better give up. <laughs> is that what it says? Yes. It's electronic what? music. Oh, that's why I haven't heard it. I, I don't really hear electronic music. It's good, though. I'll look for you it. Can look, you can look at it on YouTube. Yeah, I will. I will. All righty. I, I, I really listen to a lot of like kind of Fleetwood Mac and that type of like very soft rock and you know does anyone like Fleetwood Mac here Stevie Nicks no right yeah yeah I I, I yeah <laughs> I kind of knew <laughs> I'm alone let's see Byron says FYI if we want to use the app we will have to sign in okay that's interesting you will have to sign in with a Gmail account or Facebook or email. Okay, that's fun. Thank you so much, Biden, for the info. Next one. How do you say this and which one do you think it is? Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Number four. Number four, I think. Four. Number four. Right. So you need to continue with whatever, right? You need to make up your mind and continue going. Go on. It's like a uh, Celine Dion song. Ah, yeah, yeah, my heart will my go. My heart, heart will, will go. go on. <laughs> that one I know. The Titanic. The Titanic that one I know. Soundtrack. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That one I know. My boyfriend cries when watching the Titanic. Right. <laughs> All righty. Don't tell him I said that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You are Rose and he is that. I, I can believe that. Oh, oh Rose. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's funny. All righty. Um, next one. How do you say this? And which one do you think it is? Hold on. Oh, oh. Number two. Oh. Number two. Number two. Number two. All right. So it's definitely not turning down the volume. And definitely not turning it up and it's not searching so yeah holding on hold on right there don't give up hold mm -hmm. on for a while longer hold on hold on yep <laughs> and the movies hold on <laughs> so for this one we're gonna type it in spanish what we think it is run into we already reviewed it what do you think it is Yep, yep, yep. Encontrarse. Okay. Right? Con, oh. encontrarse con alguien. Right? Mm -hmm. What about catch up with? How will you say this? Ponerse al día. No, no, este. <laughs> Let me see. You're right. Why are you doubting? Like, you're right. You're right. Don't doubt yourself. You're right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Al yeah, there yeah. you go. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, fine, Quizlet. Sorry. Let's, cool. This is fun mm -hmm. with Quizlet because you can say, hey man, I was correct. And you can override it. Mm -hmm. And they will review your answer. And if it's similar enough to what their answer is, they will mm -hmm. review the question and they may or may not add it to their mm -hmm. possible answers. Mm -hmm. So that's good. All right. What about take off? Quitarse. Quitarse. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. And turn up. To be. 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 To we are gonna make a stop here with phrasal verbs and move on to words. Mm -hmm. And we'll do the same system, like the learning system with the different options.
because I think okay. you like this one better, right? Okay. Okay. So, to make or become smaller or less, what's that? Reduce. Or reduce. 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 Nice. Mm -hmm. So, this one I just did is an example for the upcoming ones. Mm -hmm. We have, let's see, how many do we have? I don't know how many terms we have. It's a lot. Um, yeah. I will go person by person. Uh, we have 20 participants today. So mm -hmm. I'll just go picking people from the um, participants and mm -hmm. you will read the definition and tell me which one you think it is. Okay. All righty. So for this one, you said reduce and you are right. Yes. First person we have on the list is Alexander. So please okay. go ahead. An amount or degree of something, number one. Measure? Measure, yes, measure. All right, let's see. That's right. Awesome. <laughs> yep, what that's is, awesome. What is degree, teacher? Degree. So um, degree can mean two things. We have like scholar degrees. Oops, wow, oh my God, what was it? Mm -hmm. Scholar degree, which is un titulo, right? Mm -hmm. And this can be your bachelor, es que es como el equivalente a una licenciatura, un técnico, right? Mm -hmm. You have your master's degree, you have um, all of that, right? Any certification or title. And then we can talk in degrees, as in degrees Celsius, in degrees mm -hmm. Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Grados. So the word degree really means un grado, as in bachelor's degree, un grado universitario. Um, y comprendo la confusión, right? For the measure of something. Pero realmente no es una unidad de medida, a menos que digamos degree Celsius, mm -hmm. degrees Fahrenheit. So mm -hmm. degree viene a ser grado y measure, yeah. pues, medida, right? Yes. Does that help? Is that better? Yes. Yes. All right. Cool. Let's do the next one, please. Ana Godinez. Okay. To relate to or include. Number one. Involve. Involve. Excellent. Let's pronounce the, the term also, please. Involve. Thank you so much. Let's see. That's right. Yes. All righty. Thank you. Let's do the next one, Ana Pineda, please. The act of moving from one place or position to another. Movement. Movement, that's right. From one place to another, right? Perfect. Next one, please, Bonnie. Are you already? In the area or part of a country or body that is different from other parts, regional. Regional. No, region, region, yeah. re region. Region? Region? Sorry. Yes. All right, let's see. That's right. Perfect. Remember that every, um, every 10 words or so, we'll see a summary so we can review the definitions when that happens. Um, let's do the next one, please, Byron. Hello. <clears throat> to show or make connection between two or, or more things. Hmm. Compare. All right, it could be compare. Um, show or make connection between two or more things. I don't remember what it's relate, but I think that it's compare. All right, no problem. Yeah, Let's choose compare. And if uh, we'll see how we do, and then we'll go from there. Right, yep. it's really relate. relate. Yep. So when we are comparing, <laughs> we are um, talking about differences between two things, 
right? But if we make a connection between two of, the, two of them, it means that they're similar or that we can find similar things between them. So we relate to them, right? Um, we relate yeah. them. Yeah, that's because I didn't remember, but <laughs> maybe I was close. <laughs> yep, no, <laughs> close it. They're similar words. Thank you so much, Vital. Let's continue, please, Aime. To begin or create something that is meant to last for a long time. Establish. Establish. All right. And just reviewing, this word is pronounced meant. That is meant to last for a long time. Meant. Okay. Yep. The word that is pronounced to mean is this one. And mean has two meanings. Like the, the mean of, it means, right, of significar and mean of you being a bully. So you're mean, right? All right. So establish. It was established in 1855, right? As in the image. Let's continue, please, Francisco. Uh, to show or make a connection between two or more things. Relate. We go again. See, yeah, when we make again. a mistake, we get the word again. Thank you, Francisco. Yeah. Let's do a review of the words we've seen so far. We've seen reduce, measure, Involve, Involve. Movement, movement, region, region. Relate, relate, and establish. Does anyone have any questions with these words, what they mean, or how to say them? No, thank you. Yeah, no. I, I have a question. Yep. I, I have a question. Uh, what's the difference between mean and mint? All right, so mean and meant, right? Meant, yeah. yeah. Yep. So this is the past participle of this. Okay. Yep. So mean when we're talking about the meaning of something, right? So let's use this mean. It means that, right? That word means... the significance or the description of something, right? And okay. meant, mm -hmm. this object is meant to help you with whatever, right? Like an ad. Mm -hmm. I meant well when I said that. So I meant well, mm -hmm. I was trying to do something good. The object is meant to help you, like referring to the purpose. That's how we use them. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Any other questions so far? Mm -mm. No. Cool, let's continue with more words. Let's see who we have next. I have, where is it? Where is it? Here, okay. So we left off with I met Francis Francisco, right? So let's do Ivania, please. A person who has written something. Uh, author. That's right. Number two. That's right. You're an author. Let's do the next one, please. Katia, do you feel well to read? <clears throat> to try to find someone or something? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Seek. Seek. Thank you. That's right. To seek revenge, to seek justice. That's another way to say buscar. To say search. That's right. 
Let's see, next we have Juan Jose. <clears throat> to look at to look at two or more things to see what is similar or different about uh, about them, or in order to decide which one is better. Um, compare number three. That's right. So we try to look for things that are different or similar, but we put them against one another. We have a little diagram right here. Thank you so much, Juan Jose. Really good pronunciation. All right, so we have gotten to our translating, well, not translating, but typing Pre the word. Yep, that is right. So everyone can participate in this section since we're not reading, everyone can participate. So this one, they say it's reduce. Yes. Right? Reduce. What about this one? Measure. 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 All righty. Uh -huh, yes, measure. And this one? Involved. Involved. Nice. <laughs> Involve. And then this one. Movement. Movement. Nice. Movement. Okay. Right now we reviewed 10 more terms, right? We reviewed author, seek, compare. We also went on reduce again. We reviewed measure, involve, and movement again. Now identifying the description. Any questions so far? No. Cool. Let's continue. No question. Yeah, sorry. No, no question. Ah, okay, okay, perfect. Alrighty, continuing with the review. What's this description? What's the word? Region. 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 That's right. What about this one? Relate. 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 Francisco got it right. Relate. Relate. This one. Establishment. Establish. Established. Mm. No, with that, uh huh. Established. Right. Uh -huh, yeah. yeah, I was reading the sign. Sorry. <laughs> All right. What about this one? Author. 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 That's right. How do you say? How do you say in English? A uh, person. Uh, uh, who write the song and sing the song? Singer, oh. songwriter. Singer, songwriter. Okay. Singer, songwriter. Oh literally God. means <laughs> someone who sings and someone who writes songs. That's literally <laughs> the name of it. It's, it, it's a travel word. Yeah. <laughs> Composed word. Yep. 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 They were like, I don't want to make a word for this. Let's just call them what they are. Oh yeah, singer songwriter. Some people okay. are just singers, right? Some people are just songwriters. Some mm -hmm. are both. Oh yeah, okay, singer songwriter. Okay, cool. Um, all right. What's this word? Sick. Sick. Perfect. Synonym of search. But search is a. It's not like in, in, investigate. No, it's also buscar. Okay. Because investigate, we have the word investigate. Investigate is research. Kind, kind of, yeah. It's closer to research, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. like a, mm -hmm. in like an actual investigation, as in a private investigator or a police investigation, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, but, yep. But where is the correct moment to use look, search, and seek? So. They can be used as synonyms. There is not one particular scenario where it's correct oh, to wow. use one or the other. They can be used as synonyms. Look, search, and seek. You can say search, I, 
Um, let's let's see. I'm watching. I'm watching the Fenders. Okay, I'm watching Marvel right now, so I just have this stuck uh -huh. in my head. Sorry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I seek revenge. Okay. <laughs> I search for revenge, mm -hmm. and I am looking for revenge. Some different ways to use mm -hmm. this the synonyms in the same context. Okay, but what happens when the people says, "Hey, look at me! Look at me!" Yeah, that's a that. Um, but then you're not using look as in searching. You're using look as in viewing. Mm. So two different ways to use it. Ah, okay. Yep. Okay. okay. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, does that help with uh, how to use them as synonyms? I'm sorry, I didn't see who asked. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. Okay, cool. All righty. Uh, going back, what's this word? Pair. Compare. Compare. Ooh. Like a song, nothing compare. <laughs> nothing compares to you. There's a song that says that. Yeah. What's that song? <gasps> oh, no, try go. What's that song? I ha I'm gonna have it stuck in my head now. Mm -hmm. The girl without hair. The girl mm -hmm. without hair? The nail well, number four. <laughs> yeah. All right. Number four. Uh, no, wait, we're gonna um, read it. Um, I was I left off yeah. with so, so. uh Leymar. Can you help help us read this one? An increase in the number, amount, or size of or of something. Growth. Nice. Thank you so much. Yep, that would be growth, crecimiento. Reviewing the words, we already know most of this. The new one that we had was growth. Now, how do you this. pronounce it, please? Growth, 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 growth. growth. Right, exactly. Growth. I can use growth when I describe the 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 trees or plants or people uh, grow. When I uh, 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 um, <laughs> cuando está creciendo algo. Yep. So grow. the form of the verb, the base form is grow. Grow. And then the past tense is grew. Mm -hmm. Then past participle growth. Well, it's not. It's growth is really as some um, because the past participle is grown. And then growth is kind of the noun, the crecimiento, right? So this is crecer, creció. It's grown as it ha crecido. And then growth, crecimiento. So if we're going to use growth, we have to say its growth has been huge recently. Um, or we've had if we're talking about trees for example mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um how much let's say you're gonna plant a tree in your house in your backyard so mm -hmm. how much and you ask the the assist uh, assistance uh, that frowned i don't know where you buy trees um <laughs> how much growth can i expect from this tree you want to know how much it will grow so how much growth mm -hmm. can i expect Right? That's how you okay. can use it. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Alrighty. So, yeah, this is used as a, this would be like the noun equivalent, and this is the form of the verbs in regards to growth. Alrighty. So, we only have one minute left. I would like to know if you guys would like for me to send this specific um, quizlets for you to practice. Mm -hmm. yes, sure. yes. yes. Nice. All right. Let me send that to you right now. Next week, we will start with our final section for this module. Last week will be our final week. Um, so I will go ahead and get this sent over to you to WhatsApp so you, you can continue practicing. And um, this is our end of week. So I will see you until Monday. Yes. Okay. 
All righty. So it is 9 okay. p.m. Okay. I hope that you have a very good weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Okay. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Okay. Have a nice Bye. weekend. Thank you.